Well, it's gonna be a long drive to the next destination, so let's get going. Good thing we got boost. Ah, we'll put all to that thing. That looks like a weird quag sire. Claude sire. This is at the bottom of ponds and swamps. It will carry Wooper on his back and ferry them across water from shore to the other. That is a weird looking crag sire. All right, con Afro parrot. Green feathers, uh, green feathered flocks hold the most sway when they're not searching for food in the mornings and evening. It gets very noisy. Squawkabilly. I have a feeling that's going to evolve into like Elvis Presley ripoff. Oh, a dragon type cyclizer. It can spread in over 70 miles per hour while carrying a human. The rider's body heats warm, cyclizes back up, and lifts the spirit. Huh. Dragon. Alright, got one of the fancy Tauroses. That's a fighting type Tauros. I thought it was dark. Okay. This kind of Tauros is known in combat breed. It's distinguished by its thick and powerful muscles and fierce disp uh, disposition. Huh. Weird to have a fighting type bull. Okay, we had to do it. Every game's favorite, the Magic Hop. In the distant past, there was so much strong and then horribly weak descendants that exist today. Finizen! Its water ring is made of seawater mixed with a sticky fluid and Finizen squeezes from its blowhole. Ooh, blowhole goo, uh, goo. Oh, we're gonna use that guy. He's new and we need a water type, so might as well. Plus, he's a cute dolphin, so. Pin Churchin. This Pokemon is so timid that even brush, uh, brushing against seaweed will make it discharge electricity. In surprise! Its lips do not conduct electricity. I don't want to touch his lips still, though. Wiglet! Though it looks like a Diglet, Wiglet is an entirely different species. Its se uh, resemblance seems to be coincidental, resulting in environmental adaption. This little bastard was annoying. You had to sneak up on them to capture them. Otherwise, it just go on the ground. Alright, well, we're almost to the next city, where I can heal, at least. Can't fight that person right now, because I am weak as hell to catching a lot of Pokemon. So what's here? We got a gym. Electricity. Uh, oh, it's right over there. So if we cut through the city and hang a left, we can get to that. Nice, nice. Take on that trainer first. Not gonna lie, at this point I kinda just need to beat trainers to fund my Pokeballs. I am using a lot of those things. Okay, I'm not in the mood to do the gym right now because I don't really have a good ground type. That's something we'll come back to. I mean, I suppose I could just do it my fire boy, but... We'll wait, we'll wait. I kind of want to take on the, the fairy gym first, but I don't know if the gym's scale per badge or if there's just certain level gyms in certain zones. But first and foremost, I want to take on the Steel Titan. So as soon as I can go left, take a left. Oh, ground types. Or ghost grass type, my bad. So if somewhere in one of the mines that's around here, we should find the lurking steel titan. Rumor has it that thing's staggeringly huge and really long. You think a Pokemon like that would be easy to spot. I wonder how it stays hidden. Maybe it's super fast. That's the case, writing that Pokemon of yours might help catch up. Oh, hint, hint, nudge, nudge. I guess we needed the speed boost to catch it. Which I guess we gotta do the titans in order then. Speed boost, this probably gives us something to find the next titan, and then so on and so forth. I'll show you how strong steady steel type Pokemon can be. Oh, thank god. Free XP for me. He has a lawn- that's a lawn mower. That is literally just a lawn mower. Maybe a vacuum cleaner. That That's a Pokemon now too? Oh, speak of the devil. There it is. Let's capture the thing. I want to see it. The steel section in Varum's actual body, this Pokemon clings to rocks and converts the minerals within its energy to fuel its activities. So yeah, it's basically a vacuum. It's a poison type. Poison steel. That's a unique combo. Now oh, back on the lookout for the... I'm guessing snake thing? Oh, some type of steel snake. Whatever that might look like. Ooh, Bagan. Okay, looking at the map, it's straight ahead to the right. Alright. Onwards. Oh, items. More items always help, so I have something to sell and buy more balls with. Stardust, that's worth two balls. Ah, I assume that's the thing. That looks weird. 
Well, let's get to it. It's a worm. Guess I gotta be sneaky with it. Alright. Oh, that's right. I gotta boost to some shit? Maybe? Yeah, I gotta, I gotta boost. Go for it. Warm. Okay. Well, terrestrialize. I assume that's a steel ground type? Maybe steel bug? So, either way, super effective me. Of course, it hits, if it hits me with a ground type attack, that's gonna hurt like fuck. Oh, I forgot I didn't heal. Of course, when it does that much damage, that don't really matter, does it? Find the steel Pokemon, here we go. Hey, buddy. How far down are you? Hey, boy. We're doing this game again? Just smashing everything, huh? Are those the herbs? Yep. Which means Buddy Boy should come in. Should be yep. Double battle. And you should heal me, right? You managed to pin down the Titan. That's the Lurking Steel Titan. It's, it's long. I think a little friend might be it, be even fe uh, feistier now if eating those herbs. We're gonna need to do this together, Cory. Like always. Oh, nope, you did not heal me. Shit. Doesn't matter how big an opponent is, victory is going to taste so good. Season with Toad, toad School. That is a weird name for a herb. Toad School? Sounds like Toad Stool, which is, I think, poisonous? Sandstorm. I mean, that's not really that big of a deal. To me. It's going to boost his defense, but I don't think that boosts special defense. Nice. Oh, Toad School is his Pokemon, not a herb. The shame I can't see his Pokemon. As you can see it here. Oh, it's Tentacool, but on land. And it punched itself. Cute. Finish it. Alright, what power do I get this time? That's right, be a happy croc. We did it, Cory. Way to go, little buddy. Did you get a good look at its face, though? I didn't expect the Titan to be so cute.
I assume that's a Pokemon we can actually catch. I bet if we go in here, we'll find more of that Herba Mystica it ate before. Let's go find it before the thing can regroup. If we're lucky, there'll be another herb here. I knew it! Yes, get your herb. It really is here. This is one of the herbs. Make no mistake. And yes, yeah, shiny. The salty herb. Woo-wee, we did it. Thanks, Cory. Now let's see here. What did the book say about this? Apparently the salty herb mystica helps with a aching hands and feet. Good for neo uh, neuro neuropathy and numbness. When you've got muscle weakness, it supposedly builds up strength again. If I'm gonna slip this in the tasty sandwich, I get him to eat it. Well, what are we waiting for, Cory? Send it dig in. You gonna let me see a secret Pokemon this time? And Bob's your uncle. Here you go, my special whimsical herb filled super sandwich. And it comes with a sign of Titan badge as a token of my gratitude, of course. Thanks. Looking Steel Titan defeated. Woo! Also, the salt sprinkle meme. Come on, you again? Just, you know the deal, give him the sandwich. I want the power up. Uh, of course, why is it even an option? You're always getting it. Is it trying to say thanks or something? Well, good thing I made extra. You helped me out a whole bunch with the hard stuff, so it's only fair you get more. I definitely, absolutely did not make extra so that Miradon could have a sandwich, okay? Okay. You're a nice guy. I like you. We'll be able to jump higher now. Did it grow stronger again? These Herbert Mystic really do pack a punch, don't they? So, higher jump. They'd better, or else it'd be really up the creek. Sniff, sniff. Hey, leave his sandwich alone. Don't you dare touch that. Yeah, that is a view. Sorry, I, sh I shouldn't have shouted like that. I guess I should at least tell you the full story, Corey. Finally? Come on up, bud. This is Mabio Stiff, my partner. He's old. Here you go, bud. Eat up. The sandwich should help you feel better. Slowly now. Take your time. Small bites are fine. Just chew nice and slow. My buddy here was hurt pretty bad a while ago. Real bad, in fact. He never really covered. Nothing seems to help. Not potions, not Pokemon centers, nothing. Mabo Stip here is the only thing in the world I care about. The only thing. So I promised that I'd make him better, whatever it takes. I think it's just old age. He looks ancient. I searched online, read books, I looked all over and tried to find a cure or remedy I could find. But nothing really worked, I'd almost given a hope of That's when I found out about the Herba Mystica. Ah, I found the book in my dad's lab. Uh-huh. It's this book full of crazy stories and legends and things, stuff nobody's usually ble usually believe. But I believe it. I think what it says is true. According to the book, eating all five Herba Mystica can cure anything that ails you. Case in point, Mabistiff's paws are cold as ice before he ate the last herb, but they've warmed up now. 
I'm sure they have. You done eating, bud? That's depressing. C can you see? Are your eyes open? You d I did it! It's been so long since he's able to open his eyes. I was so worried. I'm so glad. Wine. Ah, oh, look at him. Those fiery ones little eyes. Hard to even tell if they're open or not, but I know the difference. The power of those herbs is amazing. I knew the book wasn't lying. I'm gonna bring Mabel Stiff back to full health. I swear it. That's my story. Three herbs to go. Let's find them together. I still think that's just old age. If the story ends with him dying, it's gonna be really fucking depressing. Hello, Cory. This is Turo. I detect the mirror has regained more of its original power. Why are you riding upon it? It seems like it can jump higher if you press and hold the B button. Cool. I'm relying on you taking. Yep, yep, yep. I know. Well, let's see what that looks like now. Yeah, I'd say that's higher. Woo! Moon jump. Well, there's a tower up top by where we found the uh, worm, so let's go back to that tower. Climb it. Can I make this jump? I can. Alright, climb the tower. Let's see what's up here. And the final level. Maxi, Max Elixir. And one of these things. You know, it's actually pretty powerful. Knocked out the end of my Pokemon. This Pokemon lives in arid deserts. It maintains its body by consuming iron from the soil. And it also has a weird ability that's like a water absorber for ground type attacks. Never seen that ability before. The wild Pokemon are getting to be a higher level, so it's about time I get another badge to control them. That's the gym right here. Yeah. My rival actually gonna fight me this time, or? Hey, she's not here. Hey, Cory, it's me. How's the gym journey? Which one are you going for now? I'm close by. I'll come say hi. Hey, there you are. Look at you with two gym badges already. Awesome. And this gym is... Uh, you chose to be number three, huh? Well, you're up for the challenge for sure. But just to be safe... You probably better have a pro gym warm up with me. Uh, pre gym. Uh, pre gym. Sure. That's the enthusiasm. Now let's go. Also, I need to get Doug Trier out. The field of battle awaits. Before you take on the gym, it's good to see if you uh, can find the battle court in town and check it out. It helps to see what the court is and what it's made of. Stuff like these might affect how the battle goes. Look on your face, it's obvious that you're getting even stronger. I think it's time I started introducing you to some of my hard hitters. Ready? Let's go! Like the ads in the background for the cereals and the soda. Let's have a faithful battle. Rock Row. Well, I mean, that, right off the bat, that's a Pokemon I'm kind of weak to. Think of this as practice run for your uh, next gym battle. Come up with everything you, everything you got. Alright. Well, fuck it. Let's just terrorize your eyes and go nuts. I could switch, but why would I? She wants everything I got? Let's show her. Hit it. Yeah, almost a one shot. That's gonna hurt me, but yeah, not kill me. Ooh. 
One down. I assume that wasn't your hard hitter. Pull on me. That should die in one hit. You gotta get more serious than that, lady. Floragato. Don't pat yourself on the back yet. My next Pokemon's gonna turn the tables. I doubt that. Let's get a little uh, brooch. Since you have a tarot up too, we can both terrorize our Pokemon. I mean, I've, I've been doing that. You should have done that first. And even grassier grass. Gonna kick its ass. Nice. Nice move. Your skills are ripening. Woo. Counter. Uh, honestly, for, for him, that might actually be a good move. And those eyes again. Yep, your skills are ripening quick. You should have battled like someone more of the two gym badges. That was a great battle. Fruitful for sure. Take this as a thanks. Eh. I challenge you again literally right now, but champions have to have to be understanding. So I'll hang back and respect your time. Keep on collecting badges for now, and let's battle it next time we run into each other at a gym. Yeah? I hope you get even stronger, like, way, way stronger. She's into that. She, she is totally into that. And once you do, you can just battle our, we can just battle our hearts out. Time for you to whip that gym test. Thanks for, thanks for this. You're welcome. Anytime. All right, what's your stupid test? Yep. Or to face the gym leader, stupid test, what do you got? Staring in one of Lono's, oh, storing in one of Lono's streams. Huh? Lono's a streamer, as well as a gym leader, so we want to dazzle her audience with your skills and rack up those subscriptions. Oh, God. Just head outside and you'll soon find out what you need to do. Now yeah, go out and have fun. Oh no. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Lono Zone. Rip off Twitch icon. It's VTuber lady. Hey, hey, hey. Your eyeballs are mine. Caught in my electro web. Who was it? I'm the gym leader. Hello, hello, hello. Hola, ciao, bonjour. Oh, snap. Look at you. Already a master of Lonoese. Not your first rodeo, then, eh? I hope this doesn't come as too much of a surprise, but you're being broadcast live to the world right now. Smile. Anyway, Challenger, thanks for coming to the La Vincia Town Gym. I'm super happy you're here, but I'm also a bit of a celeb, you know. I'm all kinds of busy. So I can't collab with you unless I know you can bring these sweet, sweet viewing them. Uh, I guess I can... I guess, uh, 
You gotta make sure you bring some real passion to my stream. So if you wanna battle me, you're gonna have to help me uh, make a live stream a viable hit. I can tell uh, you just can't wait to get started. Well, 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 then allow me to explain the plan. Come on then, Mr. Walkabout, uh, walks about. I mean, let's be honest. If she was a Twitch streamer and VTuber, she'd already have a fucking giant audience just with that get up alone. Oh, Koi, cool. what a coincidence meeting you here. You guys know each other or something? This here dude had a real awe about him when he was walking down the street, so I snatched him up for my dealio here. You're too kind. Huh. Anyway, anywho, Cory, let's see today's challenge. I'm gonna have you play hide and seek with Mr. Wa walks about here. Look for the good gentleman using the street surveillance cameras. Find him three times, and you can consider the gym test passed. We need a better name for this challenge. I'll call it. Where in the vents here is Mr. Walks about? You think the title's safe? There's nothing iffy about it or anything, right? Eh, whatevs. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to get this uh, hide and seek with Mr. Walks about on the way. I feel that I owe my Pope the Pokemon League for many a past favor, so I'm more than happy to help. Do bear with me as I try my best in the allocated role. Well, he can run. Mayhap our dapper gentleman is ready. Mr. Walks about, you get to go? I am. Ready he be. Is hiding someone in this video feed. Friendo. Open those eyes wide like Magnemite and gets the searching. Ready or not, a challenge comes. He's right over there in the corner. He's he's in the corner there. Oh dear, it seems you found me. Our challenger has found Mr. Walks about. You did it, you one cool kid. Before we move on to the next round, let's make the things a little more interesting. You get to ha I got to have a battle with my fans. Yes, silly Pokemaniac. Yeah, this is, uh... The Lono Hype Squad is here. Long live the Lono Zone. I mean, this is... This is in keeping with a VTuber Twitch streamer, right? This is lore accurate. Uh, bad teeth there, Mr. Nerd, or whatever the hell your name was. Win or lose, Lono Hype Squad forever. Again, Twitch stream lore accurate. And you win! Well then, Challenger Friendo. Time for the change of scenery. Here we go, on the next stage, my totally rad test, everybody loves it, the Pokemon Center. Mr. Walksabout is once again hiding in the feed somewhere. Panic? Find him quick. That's easy. Oh, and here I thought I I had blended into my surroundings quite well. Mr. Walksabout has been found once again. I knew you something special. Let's spice things up again. Let me guess another fight. Alright. What do you got to say for yourself? I haven't lost to you in my devotion to Miss Lona yet. Yeah, probably not, because I don't care about it that much. I'm not a simp. And you win. Well done, challenger friendo. There's no stopping you, master of seeking and master of battle, and you're the real deal. Time for a change of scenery. This is the last stage, but be this place right here, the battle count, where the battles are raging. Can you find Mr. Walks about among the randos? Ready, set, go. Huh. This one's a little bit more challenging. I think he's over there. And admirably done. I hope you'll find the treasure in your independent study, which is so, just as much ease. My subscriber numbers are on the rise. A super fast Electros crawling out of the ocean. I mean, congratulations. I passed on my gym test. Hot diggity dang. What a good time. You have people on the edge of their seats worldwide. Finding an old man and surveillance cameras, because that's a thing. I mean, I could have some super rad streams by uh, collabing with you, Corey. So hey, when you're ready, just hit up my lobby staff and they'll uh, set you up with a collab with me. Lickety split. I'll, I'll be ready to go whenevs.
Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Now oh, she has gra uh, gu uh, Growl Guru's teeth. The shock, the shock VTuber. Yeah, eyeballs of mine caught my electro web. Who saw what is this? Okay, but I guess it. Who saw what is it? Who saw what's it? Who saw what's it? Okay, so that's just the saying. It's time for the Lono Zone, everybody. Today's challenger is flying high like a wattle. It's Koi. Yay. How you feeling about this battle, Koi? Uh, like I can't lose. Oh, we got a lively one here. You'd make a gnarly influencer, friendo. All right then, who's ready to see me kicking some kick some butt? Looks like y'all getting hyped. Thank you much, kind, uh, muchly, Electro King. Well, let's get this show on the road. How strong is our challenger? I don't know. Let's find out together. You are challenged by Jim Lee Dakono. Alono. Well, let's give her one hell of a show then, eh? Give me a battle that is electrify all my viewer pals. You ready? Terrestrial eyes. Well, this will be fun. Burn the bird. Nice. What's next? Belly bolt. I don't think I've seen that. That is a record. Record on his stomach. Half HP, not bad. Water gun. Is is it a water type? It's dead, whatever it is. Wait, is it dead or? Oh yeah, yeah. Take down. Eh, I'm sure. There we go. And what be your last one? Luxio. That's 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 fairly easy. Intimidate, good thing I'm special attack. Aha. Oh wait, she has four Pokemon. Eh. Close. Don't paralyze me is all I ask. You dick. The one thing I ask. Okay, can we not paralyze me again, please? It'll be a really dick move, move if you do. Okay, thank you. And then there was one. Miss Magius. That's a weird electric type. Oh no, is this isn't is good, loyal fans. I need to hear you cheer and give me all you got. Come forth, shiny little light bulb. I'm done with. I am not done yet. Lino, Alono, power go. 
I, I, I'm going to be honest, I figured she'd use the Magnemite at some point. That is a big light bulb. Don't hit yourself. Don't. Damn it. Boy, I believe in you. Don't do that again. Shit. You see, this... This could be a problem. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, Curlia versus Ghost type. Wouldn't say that's a good matchup. It become I mean, it's electric type now, so maybe I can hit it with takedown, actually. Or dig. Dig could be good. Damn it! Don't hit yourself. Please don't hit yourself. Oh, God damn it! Just stop hitting yourselves! Oh, God. I think the VTube is gonna kick my ass, actually. Just don't hit yourself. God! What is wrong with you? Stop it! Well, are you gonna hit yourself all five fucking times now? What is this bull- Oh, okay, there we go, actually. Finally. I swear to God, if you're confused underground, I, I swear to God. She has levitate, doesn't she? Of course. Of course. Of course. Go ahead and hit yourself. You deserve it. Oh, my big boy is a flamethrower now. Well, he's he's not going to lose for sure. Wait, Incinerate has 100 pounds. Oh, that's 100 accurate. Yeah, yeah. Well, he can't lose now. He has fucking flamethrower. So I'm sorry, V2 Blade. You, you did beat me, V2 Blade, but you're not going to win this time. You, you just can't. Unless I get confused non-stop again. Non-stop. All right. Confuse Ray. I trust you. Croc. Croc. God damn it, Croc. Come on, buddy. Don't do this to me, buddy. I put my faith in you, buddy. You hurt me, Croc. You hurt my soul. One HP, buddy. One HP. You can still make it up to me. Thank you. Fucking hell. Oh, you hey. I mean, she did beat my most powerful Pokemon again, so, I mean, hats off to her again for that. Thanks to fucking confusion. But he has Aqua Jet, so. Finish it.
Phew. You're as flashy and bright as a 10,000 watt, oh, that's 10 million volt Thunderbolt, friendo. Ah, oh, challenge, I came out victorious. Well done, Corey. You're both so strong, okay. I need to say it, but I lost. Thanks for cheering me on, any, any who, for my loyal friend, uh, fans. Well then, what does that challenge you get for beating me? The lean, mean, streaming queen? I'll tell you, Corey, you win. A gym badge! That's what I assumed. Screen cap this quick. This'll be the- uh, This'll be a shot you'll want to save in your brain spaces forever. <laughs> yeah, I, I do admit I like her. She's cute. I wouldn't simp for her, but she's cute. By the by, these with three gym badges, Poke Pals of level 35 will be easier to catch. They'll listen to you when you ask them to do stuff, too. And as my thanks for such a sweet pick, I'm going to give you t a TM. Full switch. Yep, note that does. If any of you found Electrifying Battle to be shocking, go smash the subscribe button. Remember, uh, you heard it, guys. Hit that subscribe button. Your eyeballs are mine. Currently, Electrifying of Who What's It's Lono, the supercharged streamer. Catch y'all later, and hit that subscribe button. You just defeated the gym, Lydia. Your name is Koi, if I recall correctly. Tell me, do you seek to become champion? I honestly do not like you solely for your hair. Just what I hope to hear. You have a rare talent, especially if you're your age. Aim high, greater heights are within your reach. But I've gotten ahead of myself. I am Gita, chairman of the Pokemon League, the organization that runs the gyms. As you seem to be collecting gym badges, expect we'll meet again down the line. Till then, good day to you. Please change that hairstyle. Okay, so I can probably use my double jump now to get up this mountain. Maybe. There we go. Now I can get to the Titan. Titan boy, where are you? Up here? That looks promising. Just avoid the balls. Easy peasy. Oh. It's a swan. Stork, actually, maybe? I don't like that flap. That looks weird. That flap is wrong. Also, is it a water type? If so, this is maybe annoying. I mean, I get it's the flying, it might be a flying water, though, since it's a stork. It is not. Noise. And okay, so it's tr straight to eating something too. It's already quicker than another Titan. You managed to get the Titan somehow, huh? So that's the open sky titan. Wait, wait, is this the titan that's been dropping all those boulders? I was lucky enough to be able to sneak up here because it all had attention on you, little bud. Looks like it's trying to power up itself up with some kind of myst uh, mystical meal power or something. So be ready to go all out.
Again, that flap just looks wrong. You know what to do, buddy. Just one shot him again, would you? Try to drop rocks on folks is dangerous. Let's give this thing a good taste of defeat. Alright. Hit him on, buddy. Nice. What a titan you would. Done one with two flamethrowers. What power do I get this time? Way to go, Cory. Looks like we don't have to worry about any more boulders falling on us now, huh? I'm sure there's some here, too. Aha! Uh -huh. What's this one called now? I mean, the sweet, salty so far, so I assume savory... Uh... What are the other flavors? Bitter? Sour? The bitter hurt, yep. I know this is a successful show. It's trying to roll. Let's see, what does the book have to say? Great for your circulation, it really gets the blood flowing. And it warms you right up, nice and toasty, even boosting the immune system. Or so it says. Get your sandwiches going. This will definitely help Master Staff feel even better. Come on, Corey, let's get some food going. So I keep waiting. Here you go, and one of my favorite old oven sandwiches. And it comes with a special Titan badge. But one league might not recognize it, but I hope you appreciate it. Oh, I do. I like. I appreciate the power more, though. Yeah, a bit of sandwich doesn't sound that delicious. You know the drill. Let's go. Figure this might happen, don't worry, I made extra this time too. Sniff sniff. Of course. I don't know why you keep asking that. Come on out, Master Sif, get some too for yourself, bud. Still depressing. That's it, small bites, small bites. Just sculpt the whole thing down. There you go. Move across water. Oh, you're the surf. I thought the water dragon was the surf. Cool. At least bother to taste it before you swallow it right down, would you? This brute seems to be benefiting from the herbs too, I guess, in its own sort of way. Oh, yeah. Oh, I forget, Cory. Take another look at this. There's always a Titan Pokemon near the Herb Mystic when we find him, right? Like the book says, it's not a big old Pokemon. It's, that happen it's not like big old Pokemon is like having like those herbs. It's actually something that the Herb is making the Titans big and strong. So does that mean the Titan's lair isn't really some kind of treasure or hoard or whatever? It's just a pantry where the Titan keeps its food? You know what you see how much uh, Mabel Stiff? Rough. Rough? You heard that, right, Koi? He just woofed, right? Yes. I'm not imagining things. I knew it. I wasn't just hearing things. Who's my best bud, huh? Who's the best of boys? You are. It's been so long since I heard you woof. It's definitely getting better. Ever since I teamed up with you, good things keep happening. But we're still two more herbs to go. 
Oh, I, yeah, I, I want my powers. Sweet, I can fucking surf now. Awesome. I mean, I really wanted surf. I mean, I was going to go for the water dragon next. This is Toro. I detect Meridon has regained more of its power. While riding upon it, it seems you should be able to move across water now. Sweet. B button. Well, before I uh, call out this episode, let's go ahead and test that power out, shall we? Yeah, I mean, it's it's faster for sure. I feel like we was doing the same thing in puddles before, but I guess I can just go in deeper water now, too. Tomorrow, we shall venture over there. To that. And then we uh, finish up with the, where is it? The light dragon one, too. Probably do knock out both those tomorrow, get fully powered up, and then start taking on the gyms and the star, uh, team star idiots. But until then, as always, thank you all for watching. Thank you for liking, uh, liking and subscribing if you did. Listen to Lona, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, sis.